Hello and welcome to a new video. This video shows how I fixed this GPD Win 4 2022. It got a black screen because the LCD update failed. All files you need are in the video description. At first you have to check your embedded controller by pressing the Win key and R and enter msinfo32 and click OK. In this case we got version 1.16 because this is another computer. If the EC version is exactly version 8, then you can skip the next steps and go to the timestamp. If your EC version is higher or lower than 8.0, then you have to do an update or downgrade. Take a USB flash drive and format it with FAT32 system. Then copy the files of the BIOS v08.00 folder to its root folder. Do not copy the folder to it, copy its contents to it. After that, eject the flash drive and shut down your Win4. Connect the charger to it. It will not work if you don't connect the charger. Start your Win4 with the connected charger and the plugged in USB drive. Press F7 or Fn and F7 and select the flash drive to boot from. If this does not work, try disabling secure boot. If this still does not work, try another flash drive. Let the update do its thing and after that it will shut down. Wait a few seconds and power it on. Then go to your MS Info32 again and check if your version is now 8.0. Now go to your power settings and make sure turn off the display and put the computer to sleep is set to never. Unplug all USB drives, mice, keyboards and everything except your monitor and restart the system. After restart, if Motion Assistant is running, close it. If you got other devices connected like billboard devices or touchscreen stuff, eject it. Now go to a bin folder from the software package. Run the Win4 LCD update as administrator and click yes or allow if Windows asks you to make changes. Wait up to 30 seconds, sometimes some texts pop up, sometimes not, and then start the update by clicking update. Do not close this window and keep it in focus, do not start other programs or files now. On normal operation this should take around 4 or 5 minutes. Wait until the update completes with the text update OK. If this does not work, restart the system and try another Win LCD update exe from another bin folder. If this still does not work, try an exe file from the WinIO changed bins folder. In this folder I use another WinIO software version. If this still does not work, as it was the case by my system, try a fresh Windows 10 install. I changed the SSD for that and installed a fresh Windows. I used version Win 10 22H2 German version 64 bits from WinFuture.de. Do not make any adjustments to the fresh Windows install except the energy settings. The video in the background is sped up 1.5 times. After the update is okay, close the program, wait one minute and restart the system. Congratulations, you repaired the device. If none of these methods worked for you, then you could try it, flash the firmware, the command line and the LT7791X. More info about that is in my readme file in the software package on the bottom of the file. I also tried this and this does not work for me. I also included my log file in the software package just for comparison. This is how your log file should look like after the update is okay. Thank you for watching and until next time. Tschüssi.